what's up guys i'm back so i have went went ahead and look for another type of normal okay for uh, my black metal uh, material so i've included this in the project file again i'm use i just google some kind of asphalt kind of normal and then uh, play around with the strength and the uv of it to create a slightly more um you know rough surface for the for the black metal so I've also applied this black metal material to the stair railings, uh, furniture areas, you know, stuff like the metal on the dining table and the furnitures. The lamp, I've also kind of like changed them to this metal. So because we want to have a, a more industrial look for the entire scene. So a lot of the furnitures will be, we have this kind of uh, black kind of metallic uh, design and uh, coupled with a wood kind of design to create the warmness of the whole scene okay so basically um, most of the things that you see they are black I'm using the same uh, the same kind of materials and I I, I also wouldn't um, spend too much time further on, on this I think it's, it's uh, very good already so the other thing is sometimes you know even though things may not be metallic i will still apply it as a material to the uh the, to to the particular mesh for example this chair um what um is actually i also use the black metal to apply to this particular uh chair because um it's it's, it's a small piece of furniture in the whole scene you know uh unless you really want to spend a lot of time in into creating different different kinds of materials which sometimes we may not have the time uh, we can just reuse some of this you know so to to make things more effective because these are smaller stuff you know the big ones we just spend a bit more time such as the brick walls and the floor um, and maybe the aluminum pipes and stuff like that small small stuff we um, we just reuse you know especially the accessories here um, I didn't spend too much time you know creating the materials in fact I just reuse a lot of them you know so that uh, so it as they don't contribute that much into the scene yeah so uh, so that's it for the black metal right now I'm going to continue with all the other wood materials so let's move on okay so now we are going to work on the wooden floor and on the ceiling okay so so i have included these two links uh, in the description so why don't you go ahead and download these uh, textures this is for the wooden floor this is for the ceilings and uh, normally i just use the 4k uh, in this project for for both the floor and the ceiling um, so i want to encourage you to create this material for yourself the method to do this has uh, uh, I have covered it uh, in creating the brick material so uh, there's nothing special or, or nothing extra that I use to create these wooden floors and, uh, and ceilings so why don't you just go ahead download and create them in your project and then uh, I'll see you in the next section okay so I have created the wooden floor okay and also the ceilings again there's nothing really special about how I created them is just um, what I have taught you previously by doing a texture coordinate node in fact I also didn't create a normal multiplier or normal strength node you know and use the default values okay so so a, a, a material node like this is something that I use very often okay same thing for the ceiling nothing special okay what is important is you choose the right material and use a high resolution material to um, to show forth or to showcase your your scene okay so now i'm going to create um, the material for the steps what you can do is you can go to this link to download this wood material i've also included this link in the description and i've created again a standard master material with the various texture coordinate nodes and stuff like that but what i'm going to do is uh, um, i want to create a variation of random uh, randomness uh, a variation of the of the wood um, to apply to different steps so they all look slightly different you know so of course if you don't have the time you don't have to do this this is a very um, uh, very detailed kind of uh, 
um, application so but but it does help a little bit in creating um, a, a variation and making the scene look a bit more organic okay so I, I, I just you know randomly create five or six different in instances and then I just um, apply first instance okay then after that I will just um, change the UV slightly just a little bit okay just a little bit so maybe 1.2 by 1.1 okay and then um sorry let me see oh then 1.3 just some random numbers you know for every instances to create a slight variation for this the veins are not very obvious so of course um, there's another way of for me to to choose you know the material is not so obvious so of course um, it doesn't look so different from each other but as you uh, choose different materials this is a very good way to to make the steps all look different and organic yeah so so why don't you go ahead and do that and then i'll see you in the next section okay now i'm gonna create the countertop wood and the cabinet wood okay so you can go to these links to download the materials they are used for countertop and the kitchen cabinet and then once you have downloaded you can import in for the countertop there is really nothing again nothing special it's just uh, a, a very simple um, simple uh, setup so for the cabinet because it comes with a base color which I don't really want to use so I'm just going to use um, the the other notes and use a flat color like a black color to uh, apply to the cabinet okay so what I'm going to do is um, let's call it um, cabinet wood okay and then um, just bring in the displacement and then the the two maps okay roughness bump offset okay so you see just without applying any color I can still get a, a nice looking wood material with a black uh, surface on it so so yeah so let me continue to add a constant tree okay uh, to finish off the wood i don't want it to be totally bad but just a slight gray will will be nice okay a dark grayish color right and uh, i can apply this to the kitchen cabinet of course if again if you want to make it look more um, look more organic you can like what we did for the steps we create a different variation of uh, the same materials okay so that's it let's move on so before I move on uh, I wasn't really satisfied with the with the black wood material so what I did was uh, I removed the roughness map and I increased the normal strength a little I multiplied by 3 to get the more defined um, wood grains on the material itself okay so that's what I did and now I'm, I'm more happy with this material and then I will move on now okay so now I'm gonna create the wood materials for some of these furnitures so the TV console um, some of the cabinet here and also the tables and the shelves plus these counters they are all using the same wood materials uh, for 
for, for this project and it's using this material here so uh, why don't you go ahead download it and create these materials again there's nothing nothing special about these materials I just use the normal nodes and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create them and put in the project and then we'll come back again um, to do the rest of the materials because you know I've applied them to the uh, study chair study table I mean uh, some of the countertops and also the cabinet here below okay so I think uh, and also this uh, side table so now I want to go ahead and create the ladder for the sofa which I have downloaded from this link okay and again I've created here again there's nothing very special about this just the standard uh, notes okay but when I apply the ladder material I notice that it's a bit too reflective you look at all this white uh, um, materials here it's a bit too reflective uh, I don't need to reflect too much of the light okay so uh, what, what I can do is I tone down the specular a bit okay so I add a constant note to the specular okay and maybe by default it's usually 0.5 so I set it to 0.2 and once I'm done with that When I save the, the white reflection should be a bit less okay so um, I also noticed that for the I don't quite like the UV for this side so let me create a texture coordinate So I create one instance for the size so far and increase the UV size. Mm, yeah, this looks better. I think I'll create another instance for this part as well. Rather than creating an instance, I duplicate it and change it to maybe three. That's much better. Okay, so uh, apply the rest of the materials to the sofa. Don't worry about all these black, you know, black splotches. Later we'll fix it when we build the light. Uh, but apply the materials to the sofa and to the to the study chair here. Okay, and I'll see you in the next section. Okay, so I'm done with the sofa. Um, looking good. Um, next I want to look at the leaf you see the leaves here they are they look a bit funny because when uh, Unreal Engine import them they are imported as a translucent material so in in general foliages in Unreal Engine we use the we don't use translucent we use a uh, opaque blend mode but we use a uh, two-sided foliage okay so once you turn on the two-sided foliage you will have a new node uh, somewhere around here called subsurface um, you're not going too deep into into foliages so i just plug it plug the original diffuse map into the subsurface color okay once you are done with that it should look a lot better after that okay so that's that's it for leaves uh, do take note of that so now we're going to do the blanket and fabrics in general like uh, the bean bags and stuff so basically i'm just going to show you uh, how i do the fabric using the cloth renderer in unreal engine and then for the rest uh, you can either use your own google images for the pillows you know or you can download from uh, c00 textures some of the fabric materials okay they are the same way to create and i leave you to your own creativity to um to put the materials for the fabric but how do we use the cloth 
material basically oh, sorry uh, basically we just create a new material um, fabric blanket and then after that bring in the cloth roughness and normal and shading model we use cloth okay then we input the base color to both the base and the fast color okay input normal and roughness okay then we turn on a constant plug it to cloth and set it to one so that is how we use the cloth uh, shader in unreal engine so let's let's see how it looks okay so i think i'm happy with this and i'll leave you to create the rest of the fabric uh, by yourself okay and then when we come back we'll look a bit, little bit more about emissive stuff okay see you in the next section so I created the fabrics um, for the pillows, the bean bags, um, and other stuff, you know, uh, the blankets, and all these things. So I just want to add on for the for the pillow. It came with a mask. Okay. So how I use the mask is that um, basically I just change the rendering, um, the blend mode to mask instead of opaque, and then I I put in the the mask into the opacity mask okay so that will give us some of these holes uh, that are in the video okay so that's how I did it and so if you haven't done so complete all the materials that require fabric and then we'll come back and we'll look at creating bulbs and stuff like that okay see you in the next section okay so I think I've uh, put in most of the materials for the scene there's just a little bit left on you know some of the accessories uh, and, and small little things like the computer screen and stuff like that I'll leave you to experiment with them uh, you can put in whichever materials you like and in the next lesson we will continue with lighting up our scene and then we will have our final project to show forth okay I'll see you in the next video so before we end, I just want to share a bit more on how you can support the channel. So first of all, um, all the PowerPoint files that we use in this tutorial, you can download it. So when you download the PowerPoint files and any project files that we give to the channel to Gumroad, your email will be um, captured by us. So we will send some marketing materials in the future if you allow us to do so. Of course, you can choose to opt out but this will help us in our marketing efforts of course um, the final UE4 project file uh, it will be for sale as well so if uh, it is it is priced at a usual tutorial cost fee but this is absolutely not compulsory so if you feel you want to support the channel you can get the UE4 project file um, for a price so all these links uh, as we are preparing for the YouTube uh, videos we will slowly add all these files into our Gumroad page so some are not ready yet some are already can be downloaded so you can refer to the YouTube description for the links to where to download these project files and also I just want to share with you the way to contact us we have a YouTube channel um, you can contact us directly through email and of course the easiest way to find us actually is through our Facebook channel. You can directly message us. So these are the links to where you can contact us. If you have any questions, you need any help, uh, feel free to just look for us. Uh, of course, um, if you can, remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification button. So when we post a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lesson.